No wonder people don't like that view. This is a bad seat. Yeah. What a view. Yeah. Thank you, Madam Chair, esteemed colleagues. This bill, as introduced, <coughs> provides that any person who possesses less than one ounce of marijuana, including any adulterants or pollutants, shall be guilty of a violation and shall be subject to a fine of up to $100. That pretty much sums it up. It effectively decriminalizes simple possession of marijuana under one ounce. Any questions? Thank you. There are plenty of other states, uh, Maine, uh, Vermont, Mass. Uh, the sky is not falling. Do you have any uh, data in regards to what they have done and what their primary has done afterwards? I do not have that data. Thank you. Sorry. I'll see what I can do. What are you doing? Thank you, Madam Chairman. Since I don't smoke marijuana, I don't know how much an ounce is. Is that a lifetime supply? Is it a one hour supply? Can you give us an idea of you know, how that relates to personal use? Thank you for the question, Representative. Uh, personally, I would estimate about 20, 20 uh, good sized joints could be rolled with one ounce of marijuana. Well, so normal for personal use, let's say recreation. About maybe a two week supply for heavy user. Two weeks, two. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Are there any more questions or comments? Thank you. Uh, I have a question. Oh, oh absolutely. absolutely. I did. Uh, amendment 534H. How does it change the bill? Uh, the amendment I introduced. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but I like to think it's a perfect compromise between current law and what was originally introduced. Uh, it's a three-tier three, three tier, uh, approach. The first violation is a subject to a fine not to exceed $250 and forfeiture of the marijuana, obviously. Second violation would be a fine not to exceed $500. And a third violation and subsequent violation would be a Class A misdemeanor subject to a fine not to exceed $1,000. Uh, under 18, it maintains the provision for a uh, drug awareness program. Uh, Madam Chairman, wouldn't it be appropriate to address the amendment as well as the bill? Sorry? It does change the entire bill. Sorry? I welcome questions on the amendment. Okay. Do you have the amendment? <coughs> Are there uh, copies available? I, I gave one to everybody at the beginning of the day. Oh. Now, we have to use it as a it is amendment 0534H. I like to say that this committee, I often say it, this committee is one of the most important committees. And I say that because the decisions we make, or the decisions we don't make, affect people's lives for years to come. I think this change is going to affect people's <coughs> lives for the better for years to come. Okay. I actually had, took the liberty of printing out about 30 copies and put them in there. Okay. But I will. I would love to bring them over here on the table for anyone. Do I get them? Are they in the room? Yeah, they're on the wall. Oh, oh, there they are. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. Get some more time. The original. <coughs> if anybody in the audience would like one. <sighs> okay. So, any comments or Representative Ginsburg? Thank you, Madam Chair. Representative, uh, what's the rationale for making the cutoff age 18 rather than 21? Well, below, thank you for your question. Below 18, we feel comfortable compelling the individual to attend a 
uh, drug treatment program, but otherwise it would say any person 18 years or older, and that would be it, or any person. If we didn't have the, the drug awareness program, we wouldn't even need, need, need to specify age to say anyone. So there wouldn't be a cutoff age. The reason there's a cutoff age is because there's that drug awareness provision starting at the bottom of page one and going to page two that affects the situation. Thank you. So would you not feel comfortable compelling people uh, up to 21 years old to attend the program? I don't believe that as would we, be as appropriate. We do with alcohol, so. I, I don't believe that would be appropriate in my experience, but you're welcome to amend that if, if you feel that that would improve the bill. Thank you. Thank you. For clarification for myself and maybe some members of the audience, is the idea of this bill to change it from the current status of, of marijuana possession being a correct if I'm wrong, misdemeanor down to violation? Can you explain to me the differences in the penalties between the way, the way it is now and what this would be? Well, the uh, amendment maintains the misdemeanor for the third offense, and a misdemeanor can be punishable by up to a one year in jail or a $2,000 fine limit by statute. I reduced it to $1,000 fine for the third offense as I felt the fines given out are generally three figures. So I, I felt that having it up to 2000 disproportionately uh, was disproportionately high. You'll notice uh, Article 18, Part 1 listed on the, on the back. It says all penalties ought to be proportional to the nature of the offense. I tried to keep that to heart when I created this amendment. Thank you. Uh, Judge Boyden, you're on the bill. Although you're not on the amendment, you are on the bill. <coughs> Are there any questions? <coughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, committee members. Uh, permission to return to my seat if I keep quiet?